What's up, it's Keegan. As always, I'm back again with another build that will replace Yasuo Top as the fifth horseman of the apocalypse, allowing you to hold your teammates hostage while simultaneously preying on unsuspecting solo queue players. Armed with Gimpsuit Mundo, your perfect 100 IQ, and my patent pending Predator Mundo build, you should be able to easily pull the enemy into your game of 4D hyper checkers, where you catch them in a web of intricate cleaver based plays that will leave them more stressed out than an 8 year old Ethiopian having his midlife crisis. And with damage output levels on par with forcefully jerking someone off with sandpaper, you'll torture their psyche, leaving them with deep emotional scars and an innate fear of hulking men in gym suits throwing cleavers at them. The first step in sending the opposing laner into a conniption is to take Ignite against them in top lane. Since most people who play this game have god complexes, they'll likely still try to fight you 1v1, despite knowing that you have an aggressive summoner spell. This is where you dick them down and drop the usual question mark in chat to disrespect them. Your second summoner is your choice. I generally ran Ghost or took Smite and grabbed Skirmishers, but I know there's a lot of sheep here who will still run Flash because they're afraid their teammates will arbitrarily flame them for trying something that isn't dictated by the stale league meta. I usually ran Ghost because it's pretty impossible to run from Mundo's cleaver spam if he's running faster than a hijacked jet on its way to make history. On the mastery page, be sure to pick up a page that looks exactly like this and don't even consider taking another page. I guarantee you this is the best possible page for Predator Mundo. The Storm Raiders will give you the speed you need to outplay people with your cleavers before you finally close in for the kill, and don't forget to grab Precision for the extra hybrid pin. For runes, I'm too lazy to think of some shit to give you, and this video is already late, so figure something out yourself. Don't just take my word as gospel. Make your own rune page and see what works best. But honestly, if I were you, I'd run something like hybrid pin reds and CDR blues, yellows, and quints to give you a very unsatisfying grand total of 18.2 flat CDR. Now, let's look at the abilities. His passive is essentially worthless to the build, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one, but his Q is his main ability, his bread and butter, his everything. His entire kit is essentially based off of this highly spammable ability that allows you to essentially become a cleaver throwing machine gun. Every cleaver hit slows him down by 40% for 2 seconds, allowing you to close in and finish them off with a nice style execution. This is why it's important to take the extra 18.2% cooldown reduction. It ensures that even if you miss a cleaver or two, you can essentially keep a slow on them forever. Next is probably one of the most fucked abilities in this game. Mundo literally sets himself on fire, but instead of grandstanding for some sort of protest or political reason, he tries to run at people in some sort of masochistic kamikaze attack that forces them to burn with him. Taking a step back to look at this ability, I honestly had no idea what his W actually was. It really makes me wonder if champions using Sunfire Cape are doing the same thing, and if like literally every champion in the league is just completely mentally fucked. But I digress. Instead of his W, the ability that he uses to literally set himself on fire, it's his E that's called Masochism. Reading through it now, they should just go ahead and rename all of his abilities Masochism, because this ability makes his next auto do extra damage, and gives increased attack damage depending on how damaged he is, and it also acts as an auto reset similar to Titanic Hydra. Finally, his ult is Sadism. Alright, honestly, Riot must have some sort of fetish just making champions for them. And to be honest, I'm pretty surprised a champion like this got through in a game where they took away a character's cigar for a few years because they were worried about age ratings. Anyways, his ult costs 20% of his health to use, then gives him massive regeneration that can heal back up to 60% of his health, and also gives him a fairly large speed boost that lets him run people down. Okay, it's about time I start going over the build. The first item you're going to grab from the shop is a Leandris. Overall, this is a pretty average first buy on Mundo since it synergizes well with his Q, because it adds an additional 12% current health burn damage to every cleaver. Next is a Void Staff, to ensure that your cleavers and Leandris do maximum damage without magic resist getting in the way. The AP given by these items is pretty much irrelevant, since there isn't any actual AP scaling on his Q. Disregard the AP scaling on his W, since using it will literally kill you, since as usual, you aren't building a single tank item. To further ensure that every cleaver you throw is dealing essentially true damage, make sure that you also buy Sork Shoes. Since that's about every magic pin item in the game, we're going to move on to the next closest thing, Armor Pin. And since this build is called Predator Mundo, what better item to get than Duskblade? Making use of its Night Stalker and Blackout passives, you can constantly be on the prowl for the next unsuspecting target to blow your double penetrating load on without being interrupted by any potential wards or hidden cameras. The second armor pin item is a mortal reminder, since you don't want people to recover from the psychological damage you give them, let alone the physical. The final item you're going to pick up is a second pair of Sork Shoes. This is important near the end of the game because once they start building actual MR to counter the one-man machine gun magic cleaver firing squad, you'll start to need the extra magic pin it provides to completely negate any chastity protection attempts. Overall, I'd say this build brought me some fantastic results, but this may not be the case for everyone. In case you're not a god at Mundo like me who can accurately circumcise a mosquito with a cleaver from 7 miles away, you can always fall back on going AD Mundo, since you don't actually need to hit any skill shots to mindlessly throw your body at the other team. 
and if AD Mundo still isn't working for you, the only real option you have left is to hijack a train and drive it into Riot HQ. Alright, this video is done. As always, go check out my stream and follow. Link is in the description.